Well, I think the most important thing about this approval is that it, it shows that it is possible to treat secondary progressive MS. And that is a huge step forward. It opens the door to treatment of progressive MS. So this approval really gives uh, another stimulus to the Progressive MS Alliance. It's the first treatment for secondary progressive MS. It has moderate efficacy, around 20%, not dissimilar to the efficacy in primary MS of ocrelizumab. So it's saying that we can treat this form of MS, but uh, it's, this is still uh, very uh, modest. And I think what it needs, what we now need to do is to really focus on the mechanisms underlying progression, identify those, and then produce treatments that have a much greater efficacy for people with progressive MS. So overall, it, it's, it's a great stimulus, but it doesn't in any way uh, uh, underestimate the amount of work that the Progressive MS Alliance has to do in the future.